the best player in the world. Again, he's not perfect. He has his flaws. But this latest incident was not one of them because anybody that was suffering from those cramps simply are not going to be able to go. It's one thing to say that there's more that he could have done to avoid those cramps kicking in. But once it kicks in, we've had Hall of Famers on the record, the Isaiah Thomases of the world included, who says nobody could play under those conditions. Once you understand that, to sit there and to aim the level of criticism in his direction shows that people are just flat out ignorant, petty, childish, a little belligerent, and to be honest with you, they should be totally ignored. And he made that easiest target comment to Michael Wilbon. It depends on the health of LeBron James. I think if LeBron James is healthy and he's ready to go and we, we're not worried about any cramps, I think LeBron James comes out with the attitude. And when he dropped 45 and 15 on them in that pivotal game six in the Eastern Conference Finals a couple of years back, I don't know how San Antonio is going to answer for that. Danny Green's going to hit some threes. Manu Ginobili is playing lights out. Tim Duncan is reminding us he's a future Hall of Famer. They can go 10 deep in San Antonio. We all know this, but last time I checked, they don't have the greatest player in the world. Dwayne Wade is not playing bad. As a matter of fact, he was playing like a star for most of the game. Don't know what happened to him in the fourth quarter. I don't think we'll be saying that again. Chris Bosh is looking for his shot. He's going to be aggressive. The Mario Chalmers, Norris Coles of the world, they've got to do something, plus somebody on Miami's front line. But ultimately, it starts and stops with LeBron James. If LeBron James is ready to go and ready to play at a high, high level, San Antonio is going to have its work cut out for him in game two. And I